Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this effect I stalactite. The idea came from Typhlow group in Facebook where Carlos Davi, yay car beleza, came with a request and Javier de Prado showed the solution and then I start to understand this better. So I'm going to show you his solution through my understanding. First, right click, preset type flow, simple icon type flow, move this up, let's change total five particles, let's end to 20, shape we can change to geosphere, low res. Now the VDB. Now that's the part that will grow the stalactites. Birth VDB. Particles to SDF. And you click include these flow particles. Add VDB solver. The important part is to set all operators to continuous. Now you can see the trace, this is a VDB. Next step, we're going to put VDB modify. Again, set to continuous. Now what's happening is that the particle are moving and the VDB behind is being multiplied. So we're going to lower this multiplication. By default is 1 and we can put 0 0.05 for example. And you're gonna get this result here. You can see some particles will not grow. That's because your voxel resolution is too low. So what you have to do is to come in birth VDB and voxel size lower it. 0 0.8, for example, let's check. Yeah, it's already working. So now you already have the stalactites growing but we don't have the texture the textures come from another vdb modify and in this vdb modify you set to multiply vector operation to multiply and here in scale also set to continuous and in scale you grow to one and then you start to get more details. And also this depends of the voxel size, 0 0.2. So that's the basic of this lactite effect. Now we're gonna make it like my scene where the particles hit a roof and then it starts growing only from the border. For now we can make this low resolution to calculate faster you can temporarily turn off the multiplication so just to be a fast visualization for the scene for now we can turn off the vdb let's put a roof a plane from the top Tilt it. So this part here is more about particles than the stalactite itself. But there is one trick that is very important to know. So here we can delete this speed along icon. Because we're going to add physics shape so it will start to responding to the gravity that is by default enable in the type flow if you wonder where is this is here type flow physics and the full gravity minus one we don't touch this it's fine for now the next is 
physics collision and then we select our plane here now we start to working okay not convex better if you select mesh and convex hole you can select sphere so it's faster better calculation because it's not that complex so now you have the particles falling if now we enable the VDB effect you're gonna get this that's not what we want for a visual effect right so the next step you can turn off again we're gonna put a surface test inside and inside of a box that we're going to create now that represent where the stalactite will grow okay so you're going to put here on the border left click object properties display as box and disable renderable and here in surface test volume inside pick that box what this is gonna do first the speed we're gonna lower it press tab use slow operator connect to it and we can make a real test that is looking that the particle changed the color okay so let's put a very strong red so better to visualize first thing that we want to do is to load the speed in our scene the y in the y vector we don't want the particles to follow this parabolic trajectory we're gonna reduce this but not all of them so we can disable this part this icon then we reduce to let's say 85 percent and see how it will respond much better so it's just falling And the part that is really important here is group, particles group, and we set it to one, any value that you want. Here in event number two, the VDB, we're gonna set a particle group also, particle to SDF, we filter to group number one. So now the event, of VDB will only happen once it hits this event 03 because it set up the group and the slow in Z we also want to reduce a bunch so now it's working as expected now you enable the texture and there you have it now it's about you tweaking your scene to your taste to your needs but that's the trick that I want to show, the particle groups affecting the VDB and the VDB grow effect. Here is my exact scene from the opening of this video. You can go frame by frame and see my setup. thank you hope you like it subscribe and see you next one